Our next winner is a retired school teacher who just can't seem to stay out of the classroom. Last year alone, Naomi Bond visited nearly 100 classrooms to share her personal story of surviving the Holocaust. Her story is tragic, but the message she leaves with students is one of tolerance, hope, and love of life. My name is Noemi Bond. I was born in 1922 in Hungary. I am really survivor of the Holocaust. And I'm here to share with you my feelings, my memory, my experiences, and that most horrible time of my life. When you hear my story, you will see what prejudice, bigotry, hate can do when it goes uncontrolled. In March 1944, the SS troops marched into Hungary we, the Jewish population, we had one fear, the tremendous feeling of uncertainty. We didn't know what our fate would be. What I'm telling them is a very personal story, but I'm sharing it with them. First, because I want them to know. Second, because it's healing to share. And, and truly, when I see their eyes, their sympathy, their care, their love, it's helping. Finally, the car, the train stopped, Auschwitz. I was standing with my mother. She had a little baby in her arm. Behind me, my grandmother and my little sister. And the long, long line was moving ahead. And as our turn came, a young SS officer raised his arm and with one single movement to his right. He sent my mother with the baby, my grandmother, and my little sister, and other very slight signal to his left. I was standing alone. My mother was bending a little bit forward with her beautiful eyes. We couldn't talk. Her eyes was telling me, take care, goodbye, I love you. And that was the very, very last time I saw them, never again. With this, talking about my experience and losing all the dear ones of mine, it's a kind of memorial for them that I am trying to do something good out of this terrible tragedy. Noemi not only has an incredible story to tell, but she tells it in an incredible way. Having been a teacher herself her entire life, she's able to make that connection right away with students and bring the history of it, the human quality of it, and the dignity of her story home very quickly. Please don't take your freedom for granted. I live under two dictatorships. I know what freedom means. And one advice I would like to give you before I close, if you have problems and find someone you can talk to, share it. It makes it easier. Look at me. To teach the lessons of the Holocaust became my mission. It gave me the chance that to turn some way the terror, the horror, the trauma I experienced into a very meaningful activity. Visiting schools, teaching young people about the lessons of the Holocaust. To be one of the Golden Apple Award winners fills my heart with gratitude and also gives me the strength to go on. Thank you. <laughs>